hey guys welcome back in this video we're going to see how to connect to mysql using visual studio so to connect to mysql using visual studio we need following components shown to the client side mysql for visual studio and connector slash net mysql for visual studio it provides access to database and data using visual studio so you can get access to database tables and other db objects in visual studio whereas connector slash net it adds dotnet drivers for mysql to visual studio and you can download this components from these sites you can find this list in the description below this video so let's go to the first site on this side you can download mysql for visual studio you can see the description below this title that you can get uh, access to object and data now let us scroll down so you can select the operating system and here is msi installer let us download this okay on this page just click on no thanks link to start downloading your component so your component will be downloaded so here it is let us go to the second site to download the another component here you can download connector slash net scroll down the page and here it is okay so download msi installer download again click on no thanks link to start downloading this component okay so once both the components are downloaded it's time to install it on your machine so let us install the first component install okay just follow this wizard next click on complete to install this component and install okay same way you install another component finish okay so it's second component again we need to install the complete component here next click on complete install and finish now here both the components are installed now it's time to connect to mysql using visual studio so let us switch to visual studio okay here it is now click on view menu go to server explorer now in data connection right click and you say add connection okay now here you will find the default data sources sql server we need to change it so click on change button now here you will find different data sources can be used so our interest is mysql so select this so you can connect to mysql and you can access the data using dotnet click on ok here you need to provide server name username and password so server name is localhost username is root enter your password you can save your password if you want and select your database so it is sample db which we have created in earlier video you can test the connection it is succeeded okay done now here you will be connected to your database you can see the list of your tables and columns right click on the table and retrieve the data to check your data okay so here we have this data available so we are successfully connected to our database and we can see the table now in the next video we'll see how to retrieve data using dotnet application so thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel